Hi, this is James Diamond with GlockCNC.com and in this video we'll be talking about some questions we get about our ER converted Sherline headstocks. Now, one of the questions that we oftentimes get is what sizes do they come in? Very basic. Well, we now have an ER25, it's our smallest. The next up from that is our ER32 headstock, our ER40 headstock, which is what I have in my hand now. And then we also have an ER50, which is a much larger headstock. Uh, one of the questions that we'll also get about these headstocks, though, is, well, what's the advantage of these headstocks compared to, let's say, the Sherline Chuck that I can get or the ER16 that you might be able to get on a headstock? Well, here are the differences. The ER series, the ER32, 25, 40, and 50, have a much larger work holding capacity than you're going to get on your standard Sherline chuck. Now granted, you can use a jaw chuck and you can hold a larger piece, but the real challenge there is, and this is why we came up with these, is we just couldn't get a really, really accurate run out or real accurate roundness to our parts when we were using the jaw chuck. So we had custom ground uh, the ER32, that's what we originally started with, the ER32 collet system that's a whole spindle that we could use with the Sherline headstock. Now the ER32, ER40, ER25, the advantage to those ER collets is their clamping power, they're able to actually clamp down in such a way that holds things really, really round. And when we were doing things, we needed things that were genuinely accurate because we were making supercharger parts. And any, if you can imagine a supercharger part spinning, they'll spin anywhere from, let's say, 120,000 to 180,000 RPM. So we had things that were genuinely accurate. And this solved that problem. What we also noticed was there's a lot of other guys that told us, hey, I've got the same problem with my Sherline. I would love to be able to hold larger work stock or maybe really small work stock and hold it with real accuracy. Now, the other thing that we addressed with that when we built it, and this is another question that we get, is what can I hold for um, bar size, or round bar size, you could say, round stock, that could go all the way through, that could pass through the center of the spindle. Our ER25s, you can have, if you get the large bore option, it can pass through as much as a little over half inch. I believe it's 0.55 inches. Now the ER40, like this one, this is a standard bore, but the large bore option for the ER32 and the ER40, you can get about 0.8 inches, a little over that, through the center of the spindle. The ER50 option that we have, I believe that one is like 0.88 inches. You can have as a through hole on there if you want. Now there are a couple different options on bearings, and we do get questions on the bearings which one should I choose? Well, if you're not overly conceived, let's say you're a general hobbyist. Now, 70% of what we sell actually goes into commercial application like R&D labs or actually into some sort of production setting. Now, for a guy that's a hobbyist guy, the standard ABEC, ABEC being, you could say, the accuracy of the bearing, ABEC 3 bearings are what you would get just if you ordered one plain Jane, ABEC 3 deep groove bearing. Optionally, if you want to increase your accuracy, you can go with an ABEC 5 bearing, or if you really want to maximize your accuracy and the amount of speed that you can get out of one of our ER converted Sherline headstocks, then you would want to go with an ABEC 7 angular contact bearing. Now, you can get much higher speed, they handle a higher load, and they're great for the person, maybe the hobbyist that really needs the absolute most accurate. But really, we designed those originally for commercial applications where guys needed to have something as industrial as possible out of their little headstock unit. The other question that we oftentimes get with these headstock units is what kind of power can I put through them? Because they may have noticed on our website, our website, by the way, is glockcnc.com, they may have noticed that we offer several motor ranges for this. We've had individuals successfully use up to 1400 watt motors that we offer on these headstocks. Now, granted, uh, you know, you're not going to be mounting in here a, a half inch or a three quarter inch end mill and hogging huge amounts of material out of it. You still have to work within, you know, the, the realm of what this headstock and the size of this, you know, what you, what you can actually do with it. Um, but 
600 watts is our most 600 800 watts is the most popular size motors that we sell with these and you can go to a thousand or the 1400 watt and most of those are for our commercial users so that answers some of the most common questions that we get and if you like what you've seen here make sure you head on over to glockcnc.com the first thing that you'll want to do of course is sign up for our newsletter because then you'll be getting all the really cool updates on different things as we come out with them we've got a three four and a five axis mill actually coming out you'll get updates on that sign up for the newsletter when you get there and take a look at what we offer and maybe this will be a perfect fit for you too Thank you.